Steve Ellis again at Dodger Stadium for World Championship fight number two. Little Davey Moore, the man with the big punch against Sugar Ramos, the good classic boxer. This, incidentally, is a television first tonight. The first time in the history of the medium of television that three World Championship fights on one card are being TV. Way back in 1937, Mike Jacobs, then promoter for the 20th Century Sporting Club, staged four fights, four title fights, in New York Polo Grounds that were radioed around the country. This, for KTTV Los Angeles, becomes the first in our medium of television. And we know if you hang in there with us, you're going to enjoy these next two fights perhaps even more than fight number one. Now let's go to the center of the ring and see if we can't uh, pick up some of the announcements from Jimmy Lennon, the ring announcer. Jimmy's getting set to take the microphone. Jim, are you set way up there? I think he is. We'll get the introduction of a few fighters and all by colorful Jimmy Lennon. Go ahead, Jim. Your attention, boxing fans, in the ring to present the flag of free Cuba to the boy fighting out of Matanzas, Cuba, for the featherweight championship of the world and wishing him the same luck that he had earlier this evening, our new weatherweight champion, the elusive Luis Rodriguez. champion out in the center of the ring his manager Willie Ketchum who has managed world champions before out there and Sugar Ramos the challenger slightly taller than Dandy Dave uh, the challenger a little confident also they each weighed 125 and a quarter George Latka one time lightweight and a fairly good one is the referee and alongside of us Oh, Louis, uh, Davy Moore has a sweatshirt on. You'll notice that. He wanted to keep warm in this cool California climate. Alongside us is the new world runaway champion, Louis Rodriguez. Oh, our producer, our executive producer, Bobby Bennett, has uh, called over to do a round or so of commentating. I'll call on Rodriguez in the second or third round to kind of take over. Louis will stay with us for a little bit. He wants to see the fights here anyway, he said. Uh, uh, Ramos, a very 
good looking boxer to watch in action. His back is toward our camera. Ramos carries the left hand a little low, but he can double up with punches. In other words, Davey Moore can see the chin of Ramos over that low left occasionally. Moore, a stalker, and certainly the better puncher, although Ramos can punch. Way to distinguish between the two of the fellows. Davy Moore has that white stripe around his black trunks, and Ramos has the suede red bordering his black trunks. one of the schedules, 15 rounds. Ooh! Moore missed a shot aimed at the chin of Ramos. Incidentally, Ramos is one of 11 fighters who was fortunate enough to get out of Cuba. Rodriguez was another one of those 11. Was able to leave Cuba under their present regime. down here at ringside, our broadcast partner for a bit and guest. Stand up here, Louis. Louis Rodriguez, who just won the World Welterweight Championship. We're getting set for round number two, Louis. Over here, a cross shot right over here to our cameras. Louis, tell us, do you think your stablemate, Ramos, can beat Davey Moore tonight? I think he's going to beat uh, Davey Moore tonight. You really do? Yeah. Why? How will he do it? He feels real great. He feels uh, uh, happy because I win the title. And um, I think the only way you're going to win. All right, you stay right with us and call some of the shots. Yeah. Thank you, Louis Rodriguez. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Round two. Georgie Latka, the referee. One time fine California lightweight. These fellows. We'll try to get Emil Griffith over here, too, at the end of this round. We'll try to get Emil Griffith with us also as we watch this featherweight fight. you hear in the background is Griffith trying to talk to Rodriguez and vice versa. We'll pick up some of that conversation in a little while. They're talking about a rematch right now. We'll get Emil and Louis on a little bit. We just talked with Louis. Meanwhile, let's get back to this one. This is a good one. Thank you. 
as soon as this round is over, as soon as this round is over, we're going to call on one of the great fighters of our time, Amo Griffith, to say a few words. Ooh, Triple Ramos getting hit with a hook. However, he got a good right hand in first. Davey Moore, flat-footed Sam. He's a little big fighter. Beautiful shot by Davey Moore. He might have hurt Ramos. The double right hand, Davey, best combination. But Ramos, ooh, and a good left hook on Ramos' Kim. And Ramos rallied back, ladies and gentlemen. They've exchanged right hand bombs with exactly 35 seconds to go in the second round. There's a slight abrasion under the right eye of Sugar Ramos. Davey Moore trying to set his man up. if we can get Gil Clancy, just duck in here, Gil, if you will. Uh, Emil Griffith, a great champion, a truly great fighter. Emil, one question that's on everyone's mind everywhere, and that is, what about the return with you against Rodriguez for that title? Well, tonight I heard that um, Louis Mann just said that they can have a return bout any time, and believe me, I'm going to wait for this return bout. Would you want to fight here in Dodger Stadium again? I'll fight here again. I'll fight Louis anywhere. Louis is a wonderful champ, I must say. All right. But I thought I won the fight also. All right, Emil, you're a credit to the sport, and we'll see you a little later. Thank, thank you. you. Gil, thank you. <laughs> Round three. Thank you, Emil. We're keeping Louis with us. We're going to see fistic fireworks in this one, the one we're watching now, that's for sure. We're early in round three, and little Davey Moore I call him little. They're both about the same size. They have identical weight of 125 and a quarter, but he's a little fellow with a big punch. Davey Moore, flat-footed stance, wants to get that bullet-like right hand. He whacks under the heart, and then he follows up on the chin. If he gets that on the spot where it's aimed, there's a good right uppercut. He has more power than perhaps any fighter in the business under 150 pounds. Ramos is looking to keep the pace going with Moore. We'll notice if we look closely that Ramos has what we call in describing a fight, a sneaky left hand. In other words, he changes the pace of the left hand. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes slow, sometimes straight, and sometimes wide. Moore's trying to get those big right hands in, though. We have a minute more in round three, and the one way to keep a right-hand puncher off balance, out of range, as it were, is to keep the left hand going in his face, upsetting his, his planning, his thinking. George Latka yells, let's get out. 
Half minute to go in round three. Ramos on the attack, a very fast hand. Beautiful exchange. Ramos was hurt with that short hook. Man, this is punching. We're looking at both corners now, and they're a close-up as we zoom in on Sugar Ramos. The man with his back to us, we can just see his profile, is a fellow called Kuku Kandi. His story, getting away from Cuba, he was the top sports announcer in Havana. And he has an interest in the 11 Cuban fighters that he helped to escape from Fidel Castro. Angelo Dundee again, who won the world title a few minutes ago with Rodriguez. Angelo Dundee is talking to Ramos. And they're motioning to the fans upstairs in Dodger Stadium. Let her go. We're in number four of a scheduled 15 rounder, but I don't know about you. If I were guessing at this point, because of the punching power of these fellows, I doubt seriously if this one can go to 15. Ooh. As we look closely as Davy Moore faces our camera, you'll notice on occasion that he, he wears a mustache. Now the state of California is one of the few states in the United States, members of the World Boxing Association, that allow a fighter to wear a mustache when competing. thing can go 15. Halfway through round number four. You'll notice Moore leaning on Ramos, keeping him against the ropes, but I'd like to point out that Ramos of the modern fighters today can pull the old Johnny Dundee trick of working the ropes. So we're liable to see some fun later on. One minute to go, slightly less than a minute in fourth round. seconds more in this fourth with one oh a terrific exchange one of those right hands is another Davy Moore right Davy Moore is looking to pin this guy against the ropes right above our microphone position good right uppercut oh and another right hook that time We're looking into the corner now of the champion, featherweight title holder, Davey Moore. Davey has held the crown for four years, but this, I believe, is gonna be one of his toughest ones to date. 
Willie Ketchum with his back toward our camera, Moore's manager. And, uh, well, the fellow who will tell him exactly what he wants what he doesn't want uh, hasn't done too much talking or hard talking to Daisy. He just refreshed the guy and let it go at that. Moore is known to be a slow starter, although he can take you out in the first round if that chin is extended. We're getting ready for number five. Number five. That long left hand, the change of pace left hand that that Ramos throws is the one hand that could save him from a lot of those pop shots that Moore attempts to take. All right, let's see if it's a knockdown. It is not a knockdown. No, sir. He was pushed. No knockdown. A knockdown in any given fight is at the discretion, up to the discretion of the referee. Now, Ramos, this is what I told you about earlier in the fight, Ramos likes to play those ropes. He's got to watch closely. He's tricky coming off. Moore lost his mouthpiece. Davey Moore lost his mouthpiece. He was hurt. No, they threw it. Yes, it is. It was Moore's mouthpiece. Hurt with a right uppercut. And another good right hand. Another good right hand. Davey Moore was hurt with one minute to go in this, the fifth round. This fight cannot go all the way. But don't sell Davey Moore too short. And he whacked. Ooh, but did he get hit? This is going to wind up as one of the all-time top boxing cards that we've ever staged in this country. Thirty-five seconds to go on the fifth. Davey Moore on the right. Sugar Ramos on the left. Sucker punch hit Moore. A sucker right hand, a lead. A right hand lead has been hitting Moore. Tried it again. Closing seconds of number five. over the crowd here and with the fellow who just defeated Emil Griffith earlier in the World Welterweight title Louis Rodriguez. Louis we're going into number six. The crowd's yelling. The Latins are cheering. Who's ahead right now in your opinion? Oh the fight is even. Even? Know? Yes. So I don't think it's all 15 rounds. I just said that two three rounds ago that it can't go. Why do you feel it will not go 15? Because both fire up Hit real hard. They're good punches. Yeah, good punches. All right, Louis, just sit by. Uh, I see some of the British promoters trying to talk to you, but I heard eavesdropping you might give this fellow a return bout. Oh, yes, I want to give him the return bout. There's a scoreboard. See, not exactly a scoreboard, but that tells you what it's all about. Davey Moore on the right. Sugar Ramos facing our camera now. 
It's hard to see, but as we look closely, Davies' left cheekbone seems a bit puffed up. Oof, he brought that one in from the bullpen. question now and it's the forty thousand dollar question because Davies getting paid forty thousand is Moore getting punched out is Moore tiring this early we're a minute 15 seconds into round six the featherweight champion has had breathing problem tonight. He lost his mouthpiece on one occasion in the previous round. And I notice now that Davey, with his back toward our cameras, has some blood coming from inside his mouth. So either one of the lips has been cut or there is some internal cut around the mouth. That's that sneaky Ramos left hand and a good right hand. Moore is definitely bleeding from around the mouth. I wonder if you've noticed, as we have here at ringside, that George Latka, the referee, has had to do very little breaking from the clinch of the fighters here. Half minute to go in number six. Seconds remain in the sixth round. Only seconds. Again, our cameras are focused into, into the corner of the champion, Davey Moore. Now, when you stay with a champion in boxing, you stay with him till perhaps he loses the crown or maybe retains it, you're going to get the story of the fight. And the story could be right in this corner right now. Is Davey Moore still strong at the featherweight weight limit? That's the big question. Can Davey Moore land that double right hand, his power punches on Ramos Kim? Definitely going to try to get those power punches in if he can, but look out. Very stiff left jab. Look at the shot we've got for you now. Looking up to the fighters. Very good. That'll give you a different camera angle. Moore is looking to get this fella to stand right in and punch with him. We're a minute 15 seconds into round seven. And remember, these men, these probably, ooh, are wearing six ounce gloves.
Ramos can punch with either hand, too. Look out. A minute to go on number seven. Four, five, beautiful jabs. All keeping the champion off balance. Davey seems to be tiring with the barrage, with the number of punches that Ramos is firing. And we have only 30 seconds to go in the seventh round, and again, ooh, Moore is bleeding around the mouth. But look out, hold the phone. Hold on, boy. Ramos is hurt. Now Ramos is hurt. Moore wants to set him up. Seconds to go in this round, and then the one-minute rest. as we look into the respective corners of each fella. Looking in closer a bit toward the Ramos corner, the corner of the fellow with his back toward us. There he is. They're giving him a bit of the smelling salts, waking him up a little bit. He was hit right as the bell sounded. He took, took a lot of good right-hand jolts on the jaw. And the final 38 or 40 or 42 seconds of that seventh round. Getting ready now, they look refreshed, they look ready. Getting ready for number eight. Those jabs are equivalent to a punch. There, that's sturdy, that's solid. Ramos got hurt this early in the round. It gives more time to uncork the right. There it goes. There it goes. Look out. Look out below. There's the hook. Davies letting him go. Trying to bounce from behind. But look at the heart of this fella from Cuba. Right-hand exchange was potent. Moore cannot seem to slip, slide, knock down that sneaky left of Ramos. Halfway through this eighth round. The pace has slackened just a bit, and why not, as they say? Minute to go in this round. We've got a good close-up for you. Not long range. Look at that left hand. It's really talking. Half minute to go in the eighth round. In other words, rid of the second half of the fight. And I was the guy who yelled early, second and third rounds, I don't see how it's go 15. Ooh. 15 seconds to go. Ooh! Man, these are shot. Look out. 
Again, giving you an idea of the ringside crowd. People seem to be enjoying it. We're getting ready for number nine. And as we have a wide shot of the ring, we see all the, the people here on the infield where the Dodgers will go after the Giants and so forth. In just a few weeks from now, again, let's ask the new world welterweight champion, Louis Rodriguez, going into the ninth. Louis, nice having you sit alongside of us. Who's winning the fight at this point? Oh, I it's still even. As a commentator, you're pretty good. <laughs> yes. Already, Louis Rodriguez, the new world welterweight champion, just said the fight is still even. the only reason on occasion I will repeat a punch that you've already seen is because our cameras at no time or no cameras at any time will tell you the effect of a punch. You see it land, but it's kind of good when we're hosting for you to kind of point out the stronger and sometimes the weaker punches. Moore bleeding now from around the nose and the mouth and the the hand that's doing the most damage is that left hand of Ramos he pumps it pumps it he makes it tough but you know when Babe Ruth was at the plate they got that old expression in baseball that the ball game is never over till that last out in the last inning. And I'll become a bit corny in this one and tell you the same thing applies tonight in this one. The fight is never over with Davey Moore till the final bell is sounded. fellas this has been a hard featherweight fight with a minute to go in round nine both fellas are puffed up around the face Ramos under his eyes more around the nose and the mouth and look out sugar is proving to us tonight that he's a two-handed fighter most of his points are with that left lead he can uh, whack you around with the right hand 30 seconds more in this night. <laughs> Only a few seconds more. Oh, a right hand shot up for his chin. Ball is hurt. Ball is absolutely hurt. Again, of a champion, Davey Moore. Teddy Bentham, his trainer, kind of facing us or half facing us from the outside of the ring rope, is working on one of the eyes, the left eye, that certainly looks like it has a hard, hard boiled egg all around it. It's blown up big. Willie Ketchum, his manager, is telling Davey to go. He's kind of talking to him hard. 
Eddie Foy, the third, is the third man in the corner. He's holding the ice pack above that eye. Now, Ramos, with Angelo Dundee talking. Number 10. I just wonder how much punching power Davey Moore can retain with all the headshots that he's been catching thus far. The singing, pumping left-hand jab and left-hand lead. The, the mixture of both. He turns it into a hook occasionally, has kept Moore off balance, and certainly has broken the nose of Davey Moore. Davey's having difficulty in breathing. He's been bleeding around the nose. But if he's got the punching power, it's still very much a fight. And if he doesn't have it, well, could be another story. We've had one champion to throne thus far tonight in a KGT Los Angeles first. Three world title goes in one evening on television. Look out! Now Ramos is starting to bleed from around the nose. The pace for fiery featherweights has been fast and hard. Ramos was hurt with a hook. Ramos has puffiness under the right eye. This is one they're going to remember for a long time, whether they watch it in Tokyo, Japan, or Mexico City, Mexico, or in the Philippines, or what have you. They're going to remember this one. One minute to go in the 10th round. into the Ramos corner. They're confident. There, he's the winner. Ramos wins. We pause. We'll get the time. The official announcement in just a second. Stay right with us. Get him over. And really, get him over here. Let's see if we can get these fighters over. 
This had to be a knockout. We called it for you around the second or third round. It could have gone either way. Let's see if we can get him over here. Willie. Get Davey Moore over, Willie. Get Davey over here. Angelo. Angelo. We'll try to get the new champion for you on our cameras and microphones in just a second. We'll get Sugar Ramos over. I think we'll need an interpreter for this guy. A real sweetheart of a fighter. Jimmy, will you get Sugar and Davey over if we can? I'm pretty confident we're going to get Ramos, who just scored a knockout. A one to two and a half underdog. All right, we're getting them over now. I believe they're talking with them. Sugar is a very happy guy. And let's get Cuckoo Condi to... Uh, hold, hold it, hold it. Now listen, Sugar, Cuckoo, you... you uh, uh, interpret for me. Okay, okay. How do you feel after that knockout? Bien, bien, muy contento. What does he say? What does he say? Muy contento, muy feliz. All right. He's happy. He's happy. Did you think you were going to knock this fella out? Dice que si tú creías que lo podías ganar por acá. Si yo te veía que iba a ganar por acá. What does he say? Excuse me. Excuse me. What does he say? He was sure he was going to win the fight by knockout. He was sure he's going to win by knockout. Who will he fight and where will he fight? Sugar, where? Donde va a pelear? Google Conde. We're going to fight for Parnassus. For George Parnassus. Yes, we're going to fight for Parnassus. All right, when? Were you going to give him a return or no? We'll see whether or not. One closing question. Are you glad you're out of Cuba? Yes. No? What is it? Are you happy you left Cuba? No, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, very good, Sugar. Now let's get, get Davey Moore over, if we can. Excuse me, please. You get the idea as our cameras are on us, undoubtedly. What we're facing here, uh, the Latins have gone happy. They've got two world champions so far. Two champions have been dethroned in this tremendous television night for everybody everywhere. George, can we get Davey Moore over, or am I asking too much? I don't. Know. He's still over in the corner. Uh, George, I'll let you get by. Get him over here. Get him over. We'll see if we can get Davey over. They're still working on him in the corner. Oh, oh. Jimmy! We'll try to get Jimmy. Well, we'll get Davey over. Cuckoo. Get Davey Moore for me. We're trying to get Davey somehow, some way, to get the story of the champion who was a great one for four years. Whether or not we can get over, the officers in attendance are trying to give the cameraman a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, a longtime friend of ours, and I had the privilege of broadcasting some of his real great fights, Davey Moore. Dave, I know it was a tough one. Uh, what's the well, story? Uh, I just, it just wasn't my night tonight. It wasn't your night tonight. It just wasn't my night Davey, tonight. tell me. Maybe next night. Now, let me we'll ask you this. Much better one. All right. Now, I'll do you feel, feel you'd like to get a return shot? Oh, definitely. He, I don't think he can lick me. You yeah. don't think he can lick me? I don't think so. Davey. I can fight much better. Where I feel you, man. Where were you hurt? Me. When were you hurt, Dave? Well, uh, he hit me with a... Excuse me. Wait, just let's get up here. He he hit you with what? I think it was a left hook. A left hook, yes. Left hook. I thought so. Now, did you, do you feel in a return bout that you perhaps I can land that big right I think hand? I can knock him out. You think you can? I believe that, but I just couldn't get myself together for some kind of reason. One knows, one knows that I can fight much better. I say you're a great fighter. This is my honest opinion. Well, let me ask you this, if I can. Uh, can you make that weight easily, Dave? Yeah, well, uh, I can make the weight. You can. Yes, I can make the weight. Well, all right. I know George Parnassus is leaning right near you. And talk to your manager. George, will you get... I already asked uh, uh, Sugar Ramos about the return match, and he said that he'd be more than pleased to give Dave a return match. It was a great fight, and... Uh, this could be great. I'm ready to put it on. I'd like to see you put it on. Davey, you know you're a champion in our book all the time, and and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah. It was one of the real outstanding fights, one that we truly enjoyed all the way, a punching party from top to bottom. The fans here, better than 25,000, looks like to me. Uh, certainly see you, Eddie Foy. Bye. Uh, certainly enjoyed a good one. I'm sure you did, too. Hard clean punching and fiery fighting all the way. We could not see how uh, this could at all go the 15 rounds. They punch too good, they punch too hard. And remember, we have one more real good one for you. 
So don't run away. The fight between Tories and Truth. See you soon.